Hello there and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to actually talk about something I haven't spoke about for quite some time and that is the DJI Crystal Sky Monitor and we're going to take a look at the DJI Pilot app because there is a newer version that is available for it however there are some quirks around updating it and there is a certain way you need to do it to be able to get that latest version working on the device. So what I'm going to do in this video is take you through what you need to do and to update it to the latest version which is 1.6.1 .1 as of today. Okay, so if you're an M200 user or you're using the Pilot app, you will want to make sure that it is on the latest version, as I've said, which is 1.61 as of today. Now, I am currently on 1.30, and to update, you would simply usually open the Pilot app, and if you were already online, it would actually warn you that an update was available. However, ignoring that a second, you would normally go into the settings, go down to about, and then click check for updates. And it will then tell you that a version update is available. However, it gives you a warning and it says, dear users, due to system update, automatic updates will no longer be available for versions of DJI Pilot earlier than 1.5. And they wanted you to actually update it before now. However, that time has passed and it will give you the option to click update now. However, when you press that, nothing happens. And whilst it does say starting down downloading, if you actually go into the menu over here, nothing is actually happening. And that's because it can't actually download it. So to be able to update the Pilot app to the latest version, you actually have to go about it a different way. And the simplest way to do that is first of all, go to the home, click on applications and open the browser. And you need to then go to Google, simply search for DJI Pilot. Search for that and you'll see the apps come up at the top, but ignore that one. Scroll down a little bit further and you will see DJI Pilot, DJI Download Center, DJI. Click on that one. It will then open you up onto the DJI Pilot app downloads page and it will give you the option to download on the App Store or below that, download the Android APK. And that is the one you want to do. So you simply click on that. It will then actually begin to download it in the background. And if we open the download checker, this time you will actually see that the download is listed in the download section and it will actually begin to download the app to the device. Now, this can take a little bit of time depending on how good your internet connection is. For me, it took about 10 minutes in total. So once it's downloaded, you simply tap on the download file and it will then ask you if you wish to install. So you simply say yes, let it run through the installation. Once it's finished installing, you can then simply click open and then it will have the latest Pilot app on board. Now it will do the initialization at the start and it will probably ask you to log in again. It did for me one time, but it didn't the other. So it does seem a little bit hit and miss on that. But once it's done, you will then have that latest version 1.61 on board the device. And once it's done and you open the app, you will have the latest version all installed. Now, just to check, it is the latest. You simply go down to settings, go down to about pilot. And again, you can see that we're on 1.61. If I then click check for updates, it says we have the latest version. And hopefully from this point forward, it will update via the pilot app as usual, just like it did before. And it's as straightforward as that. And that is it. And we have the latest pilot app on board the Crystal Sky. Now, if you'd like to support the channel, there are links to the Crystal Sky as well as the DJI Sendent remote controller for the Inspire 2 or the DJI store as well. They are affiliate links, but if you do want to support the channel, please do check them out. You can also order things like the DJI FPV goggles as well. If you've liked what you've seen, please do subscribe to the channel. There's a link in the bottom right hand corner. And by clicking that, you will receive any updates on videos that we release in the future. That's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching and I will do another video again soon. Specifically talk a little bit about, 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 and take two.
please do subscribe to the channel and check out all of the other videos we have available. They are also split into playlists to help you easily find the ones that are relevant to you. If you would like to support the channel, please check out the links that are in the description for each video. You will find the links for the products we've been talking about and it's only by you guys purchasing via these links that allows us to keep making videos and buy products to talk about in the future. Please also check us out and follow us on all of the social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. We're beginning to build these accounts up and whilst it is early days, I would appreciate it if you would like, share and follow us on these platforms. Finally, please also check out my website www.madrc.com. Now this is somewhere that we've been putting some of our blog posts and things like that over the last couple of years. So if you're interested in having a look, please do go check it out. That is it. Please do click that subscribe button. Thank you very much and I will do another video again soon.